Hello, in this video, I will show you how you can create a logo using Canva. At first, we need to sign in canva.com and then we'll find this top page. From here, we have to click create a design. Once you click the create a design, this top up window will be appeared. From here, we have to type logo. Then Canva will suggest different types of logo. In this video, I'm going to show, show you the regular logo to create. But if you want to create other logo, you can choose any of these things like YouTube channel logo or animated logo and some other things. But the default logo, which I'm going to show you, it will be the same for other cases also anywhere. Okay. Only the difference is somewhere it is animated logo or sometimes it is like 3D logo. So as I told you, I will create only simple logo, which is a standard logo for most of the websites or sites and like blogging sites or regular business sites like that. So just click here and then it will be in this type of menu. Uh, not menu this type of canvas and now we can choose uh, the design everything to create a logo suppose for example i'm going to create a logo for my website so here i uh, can be suggesting different types of logo if you want a text logo you can directly click here and then it will be inserted here so like this say uh, apply both pages something like that okay so there are different types of logo you can choose this one or this one based on your own need and now if you want uh, a text logo you just need to click here and copy paste or something you modify this thing so i'm going to choose this one it will be like this way okay so let's see we, how we can create a logo for our website so i will create uh, a simple logo which will not add this type of text uh, it will be a simple logo with some shape or something like that so here we have to come uh, elements and then i'm going to type uh, like rectangle Okay, so this is the rectangle I inserted and now for example, it will be like different color like blue color. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to choose uh, this blue color. For example, this is fine. Okay, and then I'm going to choose another uh, rectangle. I can copy it and then I can paste it. Okay, so this is the logo which I'm going to create and this one I'm going to choose the other color like uh, red color for example red. Okay, suppose my logo will be with combination of these two and the four is square. So I'm going to copy and paste these two and then here I'm going to choose another color uh, like click here and then we can choose this color for example and this is red color. I'm going to choose a different color like green color. This is a gradient color. I'm going to choose this color green color or even if I want to modify the color we can do this thing. So this is a colorful logo okay and background as i want to choose a different background like uh, black color so i'm going to choose black color okay now if you want to add a like border you can also do this thing but i'm not going to do this thing so i'm going to choose this thing the whole area okay so like this way and then inside it we can actually put a star something like that okay so this is one type of a logo i just created uh, and then finally once you create uh, your logo you can choose uh, to export it and if you want to add some text you can also add some text from here text and then you can add a text you can modify anything like for example you can add a text like few steps so now it is like uh, black color i'm going to make it white color like this okay so now if you see so now the color is not easily visible so we can make outline so we can go effect and then we can choose outline and then we can change the color like black color so that the uh, logo color will be easily visible and if we want uh, if we can actually increase the black level of this thing and if we want to do shadow we can also do this thing but i'm not going to do this thing so this is very fine for my website and then finally once you create your own logo or once you finish designing your own logo you can export it i mean you can download it and you can uh, use it for your website so i'm going to click share and then i'm going to click download and it will bring us this type of shape uh, size basically here so by default the 500 by 500 pixel that is fine i'm going to click download button and very shortly it will bring us the download and it will be downloaded on my hard drive and from there we can easily access that thing if we click here we'll see that the logo has been created and now we can use this logo for our website so that's it guys in this way we can easily create a beautiful logo or any logo based on our own requirement and then we can uh, save it or download it and then we can use it for our website or blogging site or any 
and like e-commerce sales side. Thank you guys for watching the video.